Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. For this video, I'm going to cover a different SEO plugin and how to set it up. So to add a new one, just go to add new SEO plugin, and I want to show you the Yoast one. And to install it, you just install it right here and then activate it. I already have it installed. So you come down here for the settings and I'll start going over the settings. And the default is all these are blank to start with. And the default will, out of the box, defaults will still do good for you. So if you just activate it and turn it on, then it's gonna do you some good. But if you wanna add some extra stuff, then this is where you'd come in there and uh, change it around. Uh, if you want to use meta tags, then you can click on that. Most people don't anymore, but if you still wanted to, there you go. Uh, disable date and snippet preview for posts. Disable the advanced part of the WordPress SEO meta box, and you can hide the, uh, the box on post pages attachments. And down here, you can uh, enter in your information for uh, the code you get when you attach your site to uh, Google Webmaster Tools, uh, Site Explorer, and uh, Bing Webmaster Tools, you can just enter them right here so it's already saved. All right, for the next part, uh, titles. The title tag, um, one of the most important parts for SEO. Here's uh, where you can fill out what exactly you want. For the home page, if you want uh, a uh, specific home page then there you go you just put in that title and that's the title that'll be used for the home page and uh, meta description also for uh, you can also do that for post pages attachments categories um, tags uh, author pages date search 404 pages all the different pages you can set and then at the bottom here you get a uh, bunch of variables that you can use. So if you want to use the site name, then you can go like this. Homepage, separator, and site name. And it'll use your site name inside that template for the title. Or, I mean, there's a lot of different things to choose from. Uh, tags, dates, name, IDs, there's a lot of different options here. And in order to get that to work though, you have to put this code in for your title tag. And most typically it's gonna be in your header.php file. I'll show you how to find that real quick. To do that, you'd open up your appearance, your editor. You would find header over here. And then you would find your spot where you have title, like mine. This is for my theme right here. But in order for that title tag to work, you have to paste that in there and use this code inside the title tag in order for that to work. But you just put that in there and you hit update and you're done. All right, for indexing, you can uh, a lot of different options here for indexing. So you uh, reduce duplicate content penalties here. But if you wanted to uh, set some rules up for if you don't want to follow certain pages, like uh, if you don't want to follow the login and registration links, there's no reason to index those pages. So you should just avoid sending the uh, search engines that way. And if you want to no follow all the comment links, it's a quick and easy way just to click one button. Uh, for the archives, for the robots, you can add uh, your different your different settings here for your meta robots, and you can clean up different uh, the head section for your uh, page. XML sitemaps, it's really easy here. Just click it, fill in uh, your options here, save it, done. Your permalinks or that's your URL structure also. 
you can set that up uh, uh, normal WordPress admin under settings and permalink, but you get a lot, couple more options here. Um, you can strip the category base from the category URL. You can't do that in the normal settings. Uh, you can make a, a trailing slash at the end of all URLs, uh, redirect uh, URLs for attachments, and all the ugly URLs you can redirect to uh, clean ones. And another option down here is if you have a, if your site uses HTTPS and HTTP, you can force it to go to one or the other if you wanted to. Your internal links, if you want to use the uh, breadcrumbs, you just enable them here and you can uh, put a separator like a dash or whatever you want to use to separate breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are like if you're on a home page and then a dash and then a category page, then a dash and then the post page. Now, that's what uh, breadcrumbs are. But you can set up uh, all the different stuff for that. And then if you wanted to insert in, you have to copy this page or this uh, code here and put it in the right page for where you want the breadcrumbs to appear. Uh, most of the time you'll see them on the, the post page. When you open up a blog post, it'll be up on the top. So if you're looking for uh, to enter them there, it most likely would be single.php, page.php. It all depends on what template you're using is where you'll put that for, uh, to see the breadcrumbs. Here you have your uh, RSS feed where you can uh, put content before and after each post that'll appear in your RSS feed if you wanted to. And just like the titles, title tags, you also have some, uh, some variables you can enter. Uh, import and export. This is a pretty nice setting because if you set this up on one site and you like your settings, you can save it and then import it to another one. And same thing is, uh, you can also, if you use a uh, all-in-one SEO plugin, you can import all your settings from that into here. But here you can save and uh, send. And finally, uh, you got edit files. This lets you edit your uh, .htaccess file. There really should be no reason that you should be editing this unless you're an uh, advanced user and you know exactly what to put in here. But most of the times, all the settings you change for uh, like permalinks and all that, it'll this will all be done for you. So unless you know what you're doing, you shouldn't have anything in here. Uh, but that's all there is to the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin. Like I said, it works pretty good straight out of the box. But if you want to add some more functionality and change around your site to make it uh, more SEO friendly, it has every option that you could think of to change to do exactly what you want. Thanks for watching. Visit thetotalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.